goodly morning I'm back again it's Monday it's the 27th of July and uh, and I'm on my way to the farm this time to clean the farm and uh, make space for we can plant some yam and uh, brother and um, it's uh, last week we did the same thing at my uncle's farm um, cleaned his farm made space for he can plant his uh, yam and today we're gonna do the same for my other uncle so he can plant uh, his yam and hopefully in six months time we can harvest his his yam so tag along so you can see the process on how we plant yam in the village and wow unlasu on we go to the farm hopefully it's not as long as Chosese's farm because when you get there you are already exhausted so I hope I have some energy when I arrive at my uncle's farm and there's some shit so watch out <laughs> the dog <laughs> okay so not only is the uh, this I hard terrain to walk on but you also have to look out for dog shit Monkey. jungle dog jungle dog so you have the village dogs that of course live in the village and then you have the jungle dogs that lives in the jungle and sometimes at night time they creep down to the village and then they meet the village dog and then the beef starts happening and you can hear the big fight sometimes you wake up in the middle of night and you know think what the hell is that but it's the uh, village dog that's defending their territory yeah even the dog in Fiji have beefs Okay. When I left Denmark I was like will I be able to work out you know and be active but I found out being a village farmer you're basically active every day you go to the farm walking just walking is exhausting and then you're gonna job clean the farm harvest and stuff like that it's also hard work and with this with the sun hanging over your head that's just like yeah you can't describe it when it's uh, like that you just want to work fast and then whoosh, get home as soon as possible because this heat is something else sometimes So, what we're gonna clean today is this part. Starting from over there all the way up to there. Um, hopefully, some people will join us so we can be pretty easy work. <laughs> Mm. 
father and son. <laughs> um, if you haven't about watched my video about me starting my own farm, you can check it out. I can leave the link in the video, but uh, it's really hard to vlog uh, when you have to clean the farm because you have to focus on the angles of the camera and then you ensure that you don't accidentally cut yourself see see what I'm saying um, <laughs> so basically I have a tripod but it's so it's little and it's not gonna help um, showcasing the uh, work that we do so what I'm gonna do is just like leave the camera and sometimes go and pick it up and then showcase how long uh, we've come and um, you know also film the other uh, people in the farm and so you can see how it's done because to be honest I don't wanna risk injuring myself Yeah, I know, I know, I'm a pro. <laughs> so the technique basically when you clean the farm is you line up on one line and then you just work your way upwards and you try to hold that line. So you can see here, there's one there and mine is here and over there and go on the other side and over here you have Timmy and uh, Mama John, Uncle John and then you have Chosses and Mama Sol, Uncle Sol over there so you can see one line and then all the way to the top Um, I'll find a new spot to try this. As you can see, it's a uh, we're cleaning the farm up on the hill. So not only have to do we have to to watch out what you do with your machete, but you also have to keep the right balance. So uh, yeah, you have to be a, an athlete to do this. This one is done. How's it, Mama? Good. <coughs> is it good? Shut. Shut. And you can see the sun has begun to really shine. And it's 10 o'clock, almost 10 o'clock. And this is the improvement we have made so far. As I said, it's pretty easy when you're mini. Do this when you're alone, they eat the boy. And uh, we also have a little kid helping us today. Ugu, Bambula Mai! 
so uh, in Fiji they learn to use the machete really young, as you can see over there. Gora, gora, kambumbu. Time for a smoke break and resharpen our machete. <laughs> this is uh, Vilkesa, the most collabo guy in the village. Hey. Huh? Oh, William. Mm. That is the Ngauri of the village. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, we have come the real far. Now it's the hard part, the grass. Nothing is hard, boy. He said nothing is hard. I'm not sure I believe him. This is uh, the coolest guy in the village. Look at his sunglasses. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> And this, that is the strongest guy in the village. Mm. Rambula. So. Rambula. Let's see. The Navy Division. Okay, peeps, time to get back to work. Shut up. Stay my name, my and a fine old loom. Okay. Good job, uh, Joseph. Good job. <laughs> we are almost there. This is actually the hardest part of uh, cleaning the. Um, the farm because all this grass is really you have to cut it um, you know uh, on the roots all the way down on the soil because we don't want it to grow again and you know destroy the farm so hey, it's so uh, I'm struggling with that I haven't uh, I'm uh, haven't found the right technique they've showed me a couple of techniques that you can do but it's basically just, you know, just go. That's how you do it. Pretty easy for them. <laughs> and um, a fire going. I hope they know what they are doing. <laughs> so one thing you have to be careful of when you clean the farm is snakes. Luckily, those are poisonous. But uh, they do bite. <laughs> so 
so we finished cleaning the farm hard labor no pay as my uncle john used to say <laughs> uh, you can see so uh after this they're gonna burn the grass and after that they will plant the yam or as they call it in Fiji Uvi Sam Bibi no Didi boy Slide chicken we go <laughs> Time for some popo or papaya, and um, this goes out to the subscriber that um, that said next time uh, put your backpack down. So I'll do as you said in the comment, like this. Okay, you are right. It feels much better now. <laughs> Lovely, fresh from the tree. <coughs> How's the taste, uh, Joseph? Mm, too good. <laughs> Sweetie. Let's taste this. It's good. Sweet. Very sweet. We have found a snake. This one is actually alive. Give me one. Give me! Oi. Okay, let's go. Abi! Woo! Chikunak. Look, there's one here. What's the bullet too? It's actually sleeping. Yeah, two, two. Oi, my mind go. Sombo. Sombo. I don't like snakes. I hate snakes. Buka balloon, right? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> so yeah see I can see clearly I can see clearly from here look at the height of the snake hey <laughs> ah, fuck you! 
Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, today you're gonna see a trick, yeah. Oh, uh, no fucking shit! Hey! You leave me alone, man. Let me leave me alone, man. Dita. You want to beat me? Can I call? Boy, saya kesana ni last nak ke bawah sungguh. Guys, lu tatu nombi. Gur saya pengen rong gur. So. Eh, udah itu nak naik gur. Fuck dia dah. Kutemai, kutemai, kutemai. Fuck. Kutemai, kutemai. Fuck dia dah. Ya fuck, ikh mes lang. Ya fucking liklo. Good afternoon. We are back at my uncle's farm. A couple of weeks ago, we cleaned um, this area in order for uh, planting yam. And um, today, me and uh, my cousin Chasese are back. Hola. And uh, he's gonna show us the technique of how the village farmers they plant yam here in um, Navuti. So let's see. First thing, you're gonna dig a hole. This hole, when you plant the yams, you're gonna. This, if this is the yams, you'll take the yams, the thing will go up like this, one stick in this middle will go up. And take the yam, you put it like this, where the point here, straight down to the hole and you leave it and that's the yam will go down in this hole when i dig this hole not big uh, deeper just uh, here back that's and after this an aura will go and get some uh, soil to draw in this hole and uh, we're gonna plant here that there and we will show you how <laughs> Motorikin people no now it's people plant taro it's not taro no nah, i am <laughs> <laughs> um i think we're talking about like a big hole here because it's gonna be as long as the the actual spade he's gonna use and I'm gonna get some soil that we can sprinkle on um, inside, the hole. inside the hole to uh, protect the uh, the amps. And it's gonna take six months, six months to uh, before we can harvest it. And they say that it's gonna be really, really big. And uh, I remember back in the day um, when my grandfather used to uh, plant yams, uh, they were huge humongous yams so um i know how the yams gonna look like um so i'm gonna get some um some soil and um so Cesar showed me how it's done so i guess i'm on my way and you can actually see how far down the uh, the uh, hole goes See, and it's gonna go up to here or maybe here. Um, so long hole, like such as S hole. Boom. <laughs> I got this big bag, 
and I have to find a some soil so I can give it to Sosesa to sprinkle down on the yam and I need this big fork okay and uh let's go wait <clears throat> really hard to be a village farmer when you also have a camera on the other hand and you're going down a hill and try to not lose your balance and look like a fool I don't want to go viral you know <laughs> okay we are here we have arrived so um, before I turned the camera on uh, Tosesa showed me how the uh, how to um, get fresh soil and a clean soil so basically you use this this fork to dig up the soil and you can see how fresh is this and um, then have to find somewhere to it's very windy the plastic is flying away <coughs> stay there plastic our bag and um, yeah you sprinkle it you smoothen it like this and make sure there's no dirt or stone um, in the soil so uh, getting my hands dirty again and after this I'm gonna put it in the plastic bag or in the bag and then I will carry it up to where church says is up there hard labor no pay and here's my uncle Bula okay he's not in the mood <laughs> okay, let's uh, go to work. Okay, people I have filled up some soil in the in the bag and uh, I think this is heavy enough to carry up there to uh, to my cousin just so let's see how we're gonna manage to do this let me put this camera down okay. Okay, peeps, let's go up the hill. And we have arrived. And you can see how far, how deep the uh, the hole goes. Try to stick the bamboo down there. See, quite deep. And what is the bamboo used for? Hmm? bamboo. Hmm. This is where the yam will go down. So this is like, like the middle of the, the center of the hole. So when we so when we put the yam, go straight hit the main point like this, where the hole goes down. So when it's a uh, bula, 
and then I'm go down and you see the the, the, the what we call the country of the M's coming out. <laughs> okay, uh, I wish I could explain it uh, a little bit more, but I'm a little bit. But uh, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know the process either, so let's just go with the flow, I guess, and see what Josie's explanation might do. Okay, so now we're gonna. We're gonna sprinkle the hole with some soil. Sam. Yeah. Okay, he's satisfied with my choice of of soil. I'm gonna go back and repeat the same process. Okay, so he said I should make two more of these. Uh, one for me, one for him, and one for my uncle. So, down the hill again. <clears throat> okay people round two of going up the hill with the bag on your shoulder Let's go. Steady, steady. <sighs> Hole number two. So basically the bamboo is for when we're gonna plant the uh, the yam then we're gonna stick the yam in until it hits the bamboo and then we're gonna pull the uh, bamboo out because this is like the scent of the hole so that means when we pull this out then when the um, yam is ready to spring it will go it will go down the hole and hopefully by christmas it, it will be as big as this hole but uh, my cousin uh, just will uh, show you when we're actually gonna put the uh, yam in the proper technique Still okay. Okay, it's really important that you keep the center of the yam. I mean, of the. Set. Big <laughs> up. 
Look at how deep that hole is. And of course, the weather is not with us. It just started raining. Set. <sighs> Set. Me? Me kill my gear. It's really important to maintain the center of the hole. That's why we are using the the bamboo. Hello, <laughs> Vingur. How about Tunga Bongo? So Chosias is going down after some soil and he said just hold the bamboo He's down there If you are um, in the South Pacific out in the jungle and you go around wander around and then suddenly you're like I'm hungry I don't have any energy left just find a papaya tree it's the ghetto rate power rate of the Pacific that and coconut juice but today we'll stick with the papaya right there waiting for us when we are done <laughs> <laughs> well that's one way to do it the soil should put inside there should be no dirty in in the soil no leaves no stone in this soil so when the yams grow grow in this hole so no touching from from the stone so the stone can stop it from growing and the the teething can stop the soil the I am grew hotel belay arta ai kuni mona kuni ta ko bada he said it's enough so I guess we'll listen to him Amulu eh Oi, kenda te vu me letolu o tsinga ke la mena koro? Kenda te nga nonda kenda? Dio, men fight in the month of Sil. And we'll do the bit of hosting the am during the Sevu, the month of the Sevu, and we'll show you how Urus Yam will be like this. Ah! <laughs> so basically, uh, when we harvest it, it's gonna be like a bit of competition where uh, the men they will see who has the biggest yam in the village. Your tamale will spoil you if your yam is smaller. <laughs> 
<laughs> so basically um so they're gonna give price out to the biggest jam the second year biggest jam and the third biggest jam and uh you better not have one yam that uh, your yam should not be smaller than your cousins because they will spoil the hell out of you and you will hear from it every day so i have to choose wisely which yam which one of those three right here one two three i'm gonna take so i don't know I'll go with the middle because it's just it just feel right you know <laughs> <laughs> that's this Chosias Chosias yam the number one you can already see is gonna lose no boy you're gonna lose I will have the biggest yam in the whole of the world <laughs> He just he's just um, leveling the soil uh, around the um, the yam where the yam's gonna be. I'm really looking forward to this uh, competition. Who has the biggest yam? Because I never lose, <laughs> and if I lose, it doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> Undefeated since 1993. This is the yam we're gonna plant right here, which my uncle's is holding. This is mine because it's gonna win the price of the biggest yam. <laughs> See, and this is gonna be much, much bigger. Like maybe go go me to the waistline. Or maybe right here at my shoulder. Oh, but then I don't know. No, Kla, no, yo, go. Okay, you go, you're gonna buy the spoil tag, me, me, tumbo, bada. That's the same trust that you go, no, 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 go. I will plan my own yam. I don't trust these guys. They might uh, do it wrong or do it bad, or, so my yam won't be as big as theirs. So, people, my uncle showed me that this, this right here. Is the one that's gonna grow underneath the um, the hole. So this is the technique. That is the hole that's going through. Bluta. Okay. Bluta. Agi matai. Wangur reset. I guess mine is the first one even though I said it's going to be the middle one but a uh, change of plans 
Okay, people, we're finished our three yams. So we're looking forward to Christmas, where hopefully I'm gonna be the number one. If not, it won't count. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, welcome back. It's been a couple of uh, weeks since we last were at the um, uh, yam farm, my uncle's uh, yam farm, and um, it's because we have a lot of. Uh, things to take care of in the village such as funeral and other sort like that and um, that's how the village life is like sometimes you plan something and then something new comes up and then you have to take care of it so now we are finally in the final stages of the camp planting farm <laughs> And um, today is the final day and um, what I've been told my with from my cousin over here, Levi, that um, when it comes to planting yams in the village, in a Fijian village, uh, it's a big job that you can't do alone. So therefore, uh, usually all the men and young boys from the village, they come and help you out. As you can see here, there's like five guys up there and some more on the way. And uh, we usually say after we drink tea, we go to the farm, go to the farm and plant, begin planting the uh, yam. But again, it's Fiji, Fiji time, so everybody just come whenever they have the time. <laughs> <laughs> so when you say 10 o'clock, it can be from it can be from 10 to the afternoon. So and now, see one more has arrived there. And um, all this field here, the brown field, is where all the yams are gonna be planted. So, as you can see, it's a big job. And now we have the best farmer for planting the yam. His name is William. William Mblewaswasa, this is the guy. <laughs> and you can see you can see some more arriving there and um let's go up and see how these guys are doing we have to be careful it's a steep hill look one wrong mistake you're out you're done you are it was what we call it in american football terms the pub list physically unable to perform list and then we'll, that would be really bad for my vlog adventure so gotta watch out man Hey, your boy. Hey, your boy, brother boy. We are almost at the top now. Okay. It's getting really, really dangerous because of the wind too. Fuck you too. So as you can see here, the guys, they've already begun the work and you can see Hello everyone We're back in the farm right now uh, 
young family. You see the, all the members of the villages around here. They come and walk together. This is uh, all Fijian people know that this kind of plant we're gonna plant over here is the when it's after six months we're gonna bring it onto the church and serve us for God. Big one care to God and uh, it will divide it into many pieces for the lady, their wife already gone, die. We give them the yam and when it go and pray to God and you deliver to them. To those wife, uh, to those wife his husband is gone. And all the children that didn't have any fathers and it will divide them too. And this is how we process work. And when it's harvest time, and we do another video for you to see. See and you next project. <laughs> and they go and and that will be awesome. Yeah. Go Nahum, with us guys. Nahum. And this is Chochi. <laughs> Hi, morning. <laughs> People, look at this. Look at this view from up here. This S give us trouble. Brother, <laughs> like you, what do you put? Do you do the yeah. job? You, you put the yes, you see the pot. That's that's long time. Oh, oh, oh. You can say, uh, brother, that's an ordung. You need church, uh, boy. You need church. Oh, yeah, yeah. How you do it? How you plug the soil and then you, you know, when we how do the the smooth and when we do this kind of job. It's part, it's part of the book. Together. You we have work to together. dig it properly when Smart. you plant the area. We're uh, working together. Huh? So one person we do the same work. No, no, you explain nothing. All the people in the village we work together in one form. No, that's okay. We work together every day. We need to work together. We yeah. can do big work. Pura, what you want to know you when we do the thing? Eh? I want to, uh, to to let him uh, explain. No, uh, explain. Explain. Uh, to, let him explain the uh, process of how to plant the yam. Okay, when yeah. we start to the first that's one. <laughs> One yam plant. You don't we say the yam. The yam. The, we're gonna start from the bottom. Bottom, and we keep bigger. <laughs> and we come to to like a mount. Okay, more like a mount. See, see, like a mount. Yeah. We start from the bottom, so, and oh, 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 now we have plenty of people from the, the village that has arrived. Some are still working here, and some over there taking a smoke break. And me, I'm just trying to clean the uh, farm for the um, the dirt. I mean, clean the dirt from the farm so to make um, the farmer's job easier. <laughs> As you can see people, we are progressing and um, we are almost halfway now so uh, we are just waiting for my uncle to come so he can plant the yams the uh, others here they are just digging the soil and making space for him to come and just plant his, his yams
Kobe. Is the Suki and this is the Suki. You roll it together, you smoke. Give you relax. Yes. When you tied, you didn't know how you tied. Because when you smoke the Suki. After this, that fucking body will try the Suki. Put it in <laughs> suki. Suki is uh, like uh, what? Suli, suki is if you have to make a liar, na kevaleng, na like a beads. Beads. Yeah, beads. Like uh, cigarettes. Huh? Cigarettes. No, no, that's uh, it's illegal. Illegal. <laughs> yes. So uh, you can smoke in in a public. Oh. Yes. This is for the Fijian. Fijian? Yes. The Fijian smoke uh, marijuana too? No, we don't know marijuana. <laughs> yeah, this is Tasuki. Smoke Tasuki. You'll feel uh, good. Hey. What the, what? Scratch your mind. Come. When you're tired, you smoke, you relax. How about if you wanna laugh? You can laugh with Suki too? No, Suki gives stress. Stress? No. Suki relieves stress. Can you no. show me the one that uh, makes you laugh? Makes you laugh? You give me that and I'll show you. <laughs> So people, we are almost finished um, digging the farm and now we are waiting for um, my uncle to arrive, he just arrived as I can see, you can see there, there, in the long distance over there um, and uh, he's the one who's gonna plant the yams because it's his farm of course. So now, after this, 
after we finished all this we'll head home to the village and then we will eat lunch and after lunch we will start drinking grog so now i have arrived to where my uncle has hidden all his uh, yams so you can see here this is all the yams that he's gonna plant today and it's really windy today so i hope you guys can hear me even though there's a lot of wind can you see here this is my uncle cutting it up this is all the yams that he's gonna plant today So now he's cutting into smaller pieces and then he can begin to plant the um, the yam and uh, I asked him even though you're cutting to small pieces will it still like grow and he said yes of course why did I ask that question so stupid because why the hell would he cut it anyway uh, Uriah 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 <laughs> This is a bad yam as you can see the, uh, this is can't be planted because it's bad and uh, you can see how bad it is because the bugs or the insects have already started to eating it compared to this yam this yam is healthy two seconds this yam is healthy and it can be planted so you can see the difference see you can see no animals have um have starting eating it or animals insects insects or bugs okay i have a big bag of uh of yams now that my uncle say and my uncle said that uh, we should go and plant, start uh, planting. And uh, I don't know how to do it, but uh, these older guys, they will um, help out or they will do it. Oi, na tanga me kotelani. Lobi, Oh, okay. 
So people, that's how you plant them in uh, Nabut village. I'm sure, I'm sure uh, other places Fiji they do it different. Uh, they do it differently, but uh, here in Nabuti is the. Um, that's how you do it. We do it that way. And um, I'm really looking forward to Christmas when we're gonna harvest this um, all the yams here, and uh, me, my uncle and uh Chosesa's yam that we have planted like uh, a couple of weeks before this that we're gonna present to the church and hopefully mine if mine is just bigger than Chosesa then I have the spoiling rights until next year because it's really something that means uh, a lot to them that they, they can brag about so therefore I hope personally that mine will be bigger than Chosesa's if not it doesn't count And now the guys from the village are finished um, digging the farm and you can see all of them are here now mostly all of them and now it's um, the eldest time to do their work and that is planting the yams and you can see here they are already setting them up see setting them up so um, they can work faster and dig faster and we can head home to the village because the weather is uh, beginning to it's beginning to get really really bad ah! hey, fuck. so hopefully we can soon be done and then we can head home to the village just finish up praying thanking the God for today and appreciating the hard work that the boys uh, put in today and everybody else in the village so see you guys in the village And this is uh, this other level from this village. <laughs> and people, you can see here that all the boys and uh, men from the village that uh, have uh, been working in the farm are here to eat lunch. So we eat lunch together, as I said before. Hello, I thumb. Wow, that was around. And this, this is mine. This is soup, chicken soup. 
So yeah, people. So we just sit here and eat lunch together, and um, the women they uh, do all the cooking while we are away, and they uh, when we come back they serve us um, lunch, and this is how they do it. And um, after this we're gonna relax and drink some grog. So the menu is chicken soup and then the always standard but lovely cassava mm. better than McDonald's <laughs> For you. <laughs> so you have some cabbage, noodles, pumpkin, and then a pumpkin, and pumpkin. pumpkins, yeah. chicken, and the pumpkin, and uh, what more? Potatoes and some. Uh, yeah. Some corn, corn, corn too. See? Corn beef. See corn. Let's taste the broth. And I'll do it as the villagers, villagers do it. With the plate. Okay, that's good. Um, it's mostly chickenish, of course, when it's chicken soup and um, mixing with the cabbage and the potato. When you have something smooth, and um, the corn makes it um, hard, so it's just a nice, nice mix of hardness and softness. And um, it's really good. It's really good. Um, I think I'll have two, two sir. I'm not sure. Oh, boy. It's a lovely taste. It's good. Come back first. Come back from the farm and you're hungry like this. You come and taste this kind of food. It's um, nice. Very good and very lovely. Yeah, all right. And I forgot to tell you that all this is done in the community hall. Our community hall in the village. Okay, back to eating. Four o'clock gonna start the grog. Grog party. This guy is a very dangerous, dangerous guy. The biggest uh, club in the village. <laughs> And this is the wife of uh, Luca. <laughs> so after the lunch, people are having some tea, and I'm gonna be the one to tea and coffee. Coffee. Eh? We're gonna have some tea, and let's taste this tea. <laughs> okay, it's uh, very very sweet. You can taste the sugar. You know how Fijians love sugar, and um, you can um, taste the cocoa and the milk mixed together. It's a uh, really tasty, 
but um, real, real sweet too. I don't want to know how many uh, spoon of sugar they've put in there. This one is drinking pimot. Doom. <laughs> After that, we we bring the after this we in the last session of the, how we plant yams. We have a cup of grub, and that's all. And and then pray for us. <laughs> And this is from Mata from here, so plus tell to the people around the world how, the, how you drink grog in, in our village. How's the... Just say one thing. Si. How's the grog? How's the grog? Kasi. 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 So people, that's it. After the planting yam. I... Wait. After we have planted yam, we meet up for lunch, relax a bit, and then in the evening we get together and we drink grog and uh, ouch, ouch. Ouch. <laughs> we sit together and um, drink grog and just enjoy each other's conversation and joke around, and that's how we do when you. Um, plant yam in this village. I don't know how, how they do it in other villages, but in our village, that's the process uh, they do every year. So that's all I have to say. Until next time. <laughs> Thank you.